hello my dear students welcome back to our video classes so this video we are going to learn how to convert decimals into fractions how to convert decimals into fractions uh, i will explain with one example um, 0 0.8 0 0.8 now I am going to write the, the answer of this. Okay, first I will write the answers. After that I will explain. 0 0.8 is equal to 8 by 10. One more. 0 0.52. 0 0.52 is equal to 52 by 100. One more. 0 0.438 is equal to 438 by 1000 438 by 1000 look at these three examples 0 0.8 is equal to 8 by 10 0 0.52 is equal to 52 by 100 uh, 0 0.438 is equal to 438 by 1000 look at these examples <coughs> the digits of the numerator of the fraction are the same as the digit of the decimal number the digits of the numerator of the fraction are same as the digit of the decimal number. Same as the digit of the decimal number. Look, look at the numerator 8. Here also 8. Look at the numerator 52. This is numerator 52, denominator 100. Okay, 52. Look at the decimal numbers 0. 0.52. Look the numerator 438. Look at the decimal places 0. 0.438. And and okay one more the number of zeros in the denominator of the fractions the number of zeros in the denominator of the fractions are same as the number of decimal places in the denominator look here number of zeros in the denominator of the fraction take this one okay 52 by 100 number of zeros two zeros in the denominator of the fraction same as the number of decimal places of the decimal number here two zeros here two decimal places here three zero here three decimal places here only one zero here only one decimal places only one decimal places so this is very easy to convert decimal to fraction so just follow this how to follow see write the decimal number without the decimal point as the numerator of the fraction Look, for example, um, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, okay, you know, we, now we are going to convert this decimal number into fraction. First point is, write the decimal numbers without the decimal point as the numerator, decimal places, what is the decimal places here? 0.25, now I am going to write the decimal places without the decimal number, 25, yeah? 0.25 without decimal number 25 divided by now I am going to write the numerator numerator what I told what we learned from this example okay the number of zeros in the numerator okay the number of zeros in the numerator same as the number of decimal places in the decimal number so here after the point two decimal places so here also here you should put two zeros two zeros means hundred if it is three decimal places you have to write thousand okay three decimal places you have to write thousand understood next one more example uh, 0 0.109 look so what is our first concept you have to write the decimal number without decimal point decimal number without decimal point that is the numerator so 0 0.109 without decimal point 109 divided by after the point how many places three places so if it is three places write one and three zeros that's all that's all okay but one more one more concept if it is possible you have to simplify the fraction if it is possible you have to simplify the fraction how to simplify it? see uh, 25 by 100 with the table 25 we can cut, uh, cut no? with the table 25 125 is 25 425 is 100 answer is 1 by 4 if it is possible we can simplify okay if it is possible we can simplify 
one example from your book 3.2 3.2 convert into decimal places sorry convert into fractions 3.2 how to convert 3 is, is a whole number 3 is a whole number so no need to do anything simply write 3 as itself 3 look check the point point after point only one number that is 2 so 2 divided by follow this number uh, procedure okay 2 divided by after point only one place so that is 10, 3 2 by 10 so the number of decimal places you have to check okay if it is two decimal place divided by 100 if it is three decimal place divided by thousand if it is only one decimal place divided by 10 that's all okay it is very easy so 3 2 by 10 and at last I told one concept if it is possible if it is possible convert into uh, sorry uh, simplify so here we this is mixed fraction we can convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction look here 3 tens are 30 30 plus 2 32 32 by 10 32 by 10 then we can simplify easily with the table 2 look uh, 5 twos are 10 1 2 is 2 then 12 6 twos are 12 16 by 5 16 by 5 is the answer we can write like this 16 by 5 understood and uh, 16 by 5 otherwise if possible again we can uh, simplify look 16 5 convert into mixed number 16 5 uh, 3 5 are 15 balance 1 so 3 1 by 5 this is the answer 3 1 by 5 this is also answer no problem this is the proper answer 3 1 by 4 okay and <clears throat> one more question mm, 1.90 1.90 1 is your whole number so no need to do anything okay oh, no need to do anything so if any whole numbers are coming it will be a mixed number look here 3.2 3 is your whole number so 3 2 by 10 mixed number mixed number so here also 1 uh, 1.90 so 1 0. after the point how many places two places two places mean 100 three places means 1000 four places means uh, 10,000 okay like that 100 so after that you have to write the number 90 okay so 190 by 100 190 by 100 look this is a mixed number uh, what i told already you have to if it is possible you have to convert into okay improper fraction then again if it is possible cut then again we can convert into mixed number look uh, 190 by 100 1 into 100 100 100 plus 90 190 190 by 100 I just I convert into mixed number sorry in, improper that's all then this 0 and this 0 we can cut no? this 0 and this 0 now this is 19 by 10 so 19 by 10 1 10 is 10 balance 9 1 9 by 10 is the answer 1 9 by 10 this is the answer okay this is the answer so like that we can convert everything and uh, 9 point uh, 0 0 9.005 9 9.005 okay so 9 is a whole number keep as itself 0 0.005 0 0.005 0 so 3 decimal places we don't leave the 0 3 decimal places so have this is it will be 1000 yeah 0 0.005 or I'll just write 5 no need to mention the zero here just write five okay then convert into uh, improper fraction if it is possible convert into uh, mixed number again okay so this is the way you have to do everything converting decimals into fractions three concepts some concepts are there so first uh, uh, after the decimal point how many places so that much zero you have to add in the denominator with one okay here only one place so only one zero 
here two places so one two zeros here three places one three zeros like that okay then write the numerator without the decimal point write the numerator without the decimal point so this is the way you have to do the converting decimals into fractions okay thanks for watching this video see you in the next video bye